Scheduling for Success In this video, I am offering you thoughts on a very important tool for reaching success, that is, scheduling. You'll maximize success in your writing project by honoring your commitment to write, just as you do other commitments. Work, doctor's appointments, business meetings, social occasions, all require you to be in place and on time. Create and follow a writing schedule that you can honor in the same way. For some writers, the early stages are a breeze. Projects often hold our interest in the beginning before blocks or complications set in. If you can make your writing time a habit during this first flush of enthusiasm, you'll find that dealing with the more challenging stages later on will be easier. If you can make your writing time a habit during this first flush of enthusiasm, you'll find that dealing with the more challenging stages that will come later will certainly be easier. Other writers struggle to break through the invisible boundary between thinking about writing and actually writing. It is so much easier to clean out the closet or tidy up your desk than to put those words, thoughts, feelings, and experiences on paper, isn't it? If this describes you, ask your writing coach for the pre-writing exercises that will take you step by step through the stage. If this describes you, we have pre-writing articles on the memoirnetwork.com blog that will take you step by step through the stage. Many of us have a monkey of self-criticism on our shoulders whose job is to hold us back. There are simple techniques for silencing that beast so you can find your writing voice. Few writers can completely clear their personal and work schedules to focus entirely on their creative project. How then can you formalize your intent to write so that your commitment to writing is more than just a good intention? Here are some guidelines for more effective scheduling. 1. Be realistic. Assess your current activity level. What claims on your time and energy will continue even after you commit to writing a memoir? Which of these activities can be put off or completed to make time available? Do you have the luxury of prioritizing this project or just a window of opportunity? Or do you have simply a particular block of time each week to devote to writing? 2. Commit to regularity over frequency or duration. In the rush of enthusiasm you may have at the beginning, you may be tempted to think you will write every day or that you can write all day. The reality for most writers is quite different. Writing is a discipline as well as a pleasure and a satisfaction. The most sustainable work schedule is often the one that designates a block of one to three hours at regular intervals although I have had much success with half-hour blocks. You will find that writing regularly allows you to see your progress. Writing regularly will keep you feeling positive about your effort because no one mega work session has to do it all and your day-to-day -day life doesn't have to stop. Your life is unlikely to stop anyway, so don't set yourself up for failure. By writing frequently, I would mean telling yourself that you will write every day, although you sense that that is not realistic. By writing regularly, I mean to set a schedule by which you might work on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays every single week. That is regularity over frequency. It is the way I believe all writers of memoir should go. 3. Go public. Time devoted to a creative project often seems to others in your life like time taken away from them, so it's a good idea to enlist their interest and support. Another benefit of going public with your writing schedule is that it will make your expectations as well as theirs official. Oftentimes, what we make public, we feel we have to continue with. This is a great strategy. 4. Be forgiving and keep track of your time. Try not to associate feelings of inadequacy or failure with your writing effort. Feeling bad about not writing 
or not writing enough can keep you from writing. It's counterproductive. If you miss a session or don't produce the pages you meant to, be a forgiving taskmaster for yourself. Deal positively with the human side of scheduling by establishing an honor system you will keep to. If you fall short, make up the time or page quota as soon as possible. Don't let lack of accomplishment become your habit. 5. Take a moment regularly to congratulate yourself on undertaking such a meaningful project, on the progress you have made to date, on your plans and expectations to fulfill your writing dream by completing your project as scheduled for success. Here are some action steps. 1. Determine the best time for you to write regularly. You get to best time by balancing your biorhythms and your obligations. Biorhythms refer to when you feel best writing. If you're wide awake in the morning and full of energy, that's probably your best time to write. If, however, the evening is when you feel most energized, then biorhythmically you would be writing in the evening. 2. Concretize your best time on days of your calendar by writing these times into your calendar. 3. Do not let others or other pulls cause you to neglect your commitments. In conclusion, whatever you do today, write a bit on your memoir.